Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the 2022 Calgary Stampede Parade Marshal, Mr. Kevin Costner. Good morning. You want me to sit there? Well, we already got it wrong. I hope I don't get lost in this parade room either. All right, so Marianne has a mic um, for a brief Q&A. Um, so Marianne will handle questions. Noah. Hey there, good morning. John, Kevin, welcome to Calgary. Welcome back to Calgary. Um, there's two legends sitting right in front of us in their own rights. I was curious, have you fellas ever worked together before and what it's been like? And if you haven't or if you're thinking of maybe any future projects together, I know Kevin's currently shooting Yellowstone, big fan, we're all big fans. I had the honor uh, to provide some horses for Kevin on a show called Open Range. I was on another picture called Timeline Back East, but I came at the back end of it and uh, Worked with him and uh, Robert Duvall. It was a fantastic picture, made very authentically, and really helps preserve the Western heritage. And thank you very much. Didn't John do perfect? He did great. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, what, what was the question, though? Really? Uh, you guys have worked together before, and yeah. maybe any planning on working together again? I mean, today yeah. you're working well, together. Well, here's the here's the truth. You know, no, John is a cowboy, and I'm a I'm an imaginary cowboy. I I'm like a lot of people that maybe see themselves on a horse, and I've been lucky enough to do that. I mean, you know, I realize how lucky I've been in my life, and uh, not many people get to get to save the girl, get to save the day, get to go after the bad guy. And I sometimes feel like when I'm doing it, I'm doing it for everybody. I know, you know, I, I try to do my own stunts because I know anybody worth their salt would go. If they didn't have a chance to do it themselves, why would you even want to try to get in this game? But there's people like John that have taken care of me, both with the horse and, and, and people that come. There's a lot, it takes a lot of people to make a movie, and uh, it takes a lot of real cowboys to come along and, and make a difference in what it is. And because I believe so much in authenticity, uh, I think that makes us a, a good pair. Hi, Leslie from Global. Oh. Oh, on his knee? <laughs> Hi. Uh, no, okay. The uh, security is going to have to hold her back a little bit. <laughs> See, I told you. You're a little too close, close man. Last time around. Um, I'm wondering, oh, by the way, and if you need a girl to save, hi. Um, I'm wondering with the past couple of years and the current environment, I think there's a real um, appetite in this city to celebrate the theme of this year's parade, which is together again. I'm wondering what together again means for you. Well, I'm, you know, I would much rather go places with people in my life. The reality of my life is sometimes I go places where people don't want to go with me. And I'm willing to go through the world by myself. Uh, but it's, it's always so much better to be with people. And I think, uh, you know, towns are, are unity. It's why people come together. You know, they come together for geographical reasons. You have a river. But uh, we need each other. And when we don't kind of uh, deal with each other in civil ways and, 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 and allow for the differences, you know, we, uh, we keep missing the point. And the idea that COVID has reminded us sometimes that things can be taken from us in a wink of an eye and to understand we can come back out and celebrate this parade, this, this uh, yearly thing that's been happening for almost 100 years uh, or over 100 years, that th th it gives us a chance. We, have, we create fake things so we can be together. And we give these fake things, these, this arbitrary day, a thing where we can be together and yet celebrate and think about our history. And this, this city is, this is probably the most interesting architectural city, I think, in North America. Uh, it might even be the cleanest. And I've had really good luck up here with two movies and uh, the band playing. We're going to play tonight. And I was uh, humbled and, and uh, uh, to be invited and to, to get to write out in front, I guess, 
you know, my, you know, I've, I've had, like I said, I've had some good luck. Yep. Um, I, this question could be for either one of you, but I'm wondering um, what it is about the idea of the West that continues to capture people's imagination in, in movies and in uh, events like this. I don't know. They, I mean, no one's ever going to tire of running horses and rivers that don't stop flowing and mountains that don't feel the need to move and are snow-capped and these prairies that go forever. But I think some, something romantic about the West and... We know how hard the West is, but there's something interesting about a man on a horse and all he needs, and, and the only thing that he needs is what that horse can carry. There's something unique about that relationship, and to somehow feel that free that you can just ride off into the horizon and you have everything you need uh, that that horse can carry, and there's something self-sufficient about it. You know, um, We have so many people to arbitrate our problems now. We have lawyers, we have agents, we have publicity people. And I think sometimes when we look at the West, even though there's this level of violence, there's this, also this notion of that we'd like to sometimes handle problems ourselves. We'd like to maybe walk next door and tell somebody what time it is, as opposed to having a lawyer do it and say, now, can we get along now? So I don't know. Uh, Mr. Coster, uh, uh, um, uh, just uh, you're I don't know. Uh, sometimes I think you guys are directing traffic in the press, <laughs> so I don't know if there's cars coming through here at any moment or not. Okay, um, I see you though. Uh, 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 just your thoughts in terms of uh, of you know ser serving the role you're going to serve in this parade today, and kind of what was behind your decision to do it as well. Well, y you know, it's a, a call like that comes out of the blue a little bit. You don't think of it. Um, uh, you know, um, to, to, to be asked to be the head of this thing, I, I was caught by surprise. And and, um, and I wondered, you know, how my, my name, like I said, ended up on the list. You know, I was just glad that it did. And um, I'm filming Yellowstone right now, and I, I really felt like uh, I wanted to try to accept this, uh, what I called a really wonderful invitation. I wanted to be a part of it. This, this city has been very good to me being able to come up here, and, and uh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it, but we, we, I tried really hard, and, it, and then the kind of sky opened up, and I could come. Hi, John. What, uh, we were talking about the film industry, and with what you do, and how far along you brought the film industry, and you're part of it with, with, with your, what you do with the stunts and what you do with the horses. Uh, let's talk about where things have come since you've been in that game. I uh, started in uh, about 1969 on a show called Little Big Man. Started as a writing lecture at uh, $25 a day, and I thought this is a lot of fun. And then I got moved up with the stunt guys, and I got 100 a day, and I thought, wow, this is a business. When the show was over, they said, come to Hollywood and we'll teach you the ropes. So I uh, watered their horses and fed their horses and cleaned the manure out of their trucks. So I get on sets of uh, Alias Smith and Jones, Gunsmoke, and uh, Big Valley. And then I came back home and uh, thought, boy, this is a place where there's very few power lines. Very, we've, we've got magnificent scenery here that we could promote Westerns to come here. And uh, that did start to happen. My grandfather had farmed with horses till uh, 1959, so I had a lot of his equipment and harness. I saved that and started adding to it. And then we got pictures in here like Prime Cut with Gene Hackman and Lee Marvin and uh, came up the ladder. Then we had some dry years, and then we had some very lean years, and then uh, uh, had some major pictures come in here like uh, Legends of the Fall, and uh, Kevin brought in here Open Range, and uh, that started to make things kind of take off. And uh, got us renowned for our scenery and uh, the quality of crews that we have here. And uh, last year, we had the best year in history in Alberta in the film business we've ever had. And uh, it was probably due to the government got on side and realized tax credits are important in the film industry and put us on a level playing field. And everything changed and uh, hopefully we're gonna keep it going. Thank you. <laughs> 